Hello everyone, welcome to the video on the concept of isotonicity. In this video, let us understand what do you mean by isotonicity, what are paratonic solutions, the effect of hypotonic and hypertonic solutions on blood. Now, isotonicity means having equal solute concentration with body fluids, body fluids like tears and blood plasma. Now, 0.9% sodium chloride is considered as isotonic with body fluids. 0.9% means understand that percent means per 100 ml. In 100 ml of a solution, 0.9 grams of sodium chloride is dissolved and that solution is called as 0.9% sodium chloride solution. And this solute concentration is equal to body fluid solute concentration. Anything other than this concentration is called as paratonic solutions. The concentration which is lower is called as hypotonic. The concentration which is higher is known as hypertonic. So hypertonic, hypotonic are called as paratonic solutions. Now in case of injectables and eye drops, isotonicity requirement should be there. If paratonic solution is given, it causes irritation and a lot of problems will be there. Let us understand what could be the problem. Let's say a hypotonic solution is given as an injection. Hypotonic means having low solute concentration. Now understand this one, in the blood you have red blood cells are there and the solution is given. The solution concentration is low because we have given hypotonic solution and inside the blood the solute concentration is high. Now the natural law is to get an equilibrium between all the solutions, get an equilibrium. What To get that equilibrium that means to get the solute concentrations equal, blood has got high solute concentration and hypotonic solution has got low solute concentration. To, to get an equilibrium, water from this hypotonic solution moves to the red blood cell. So the water moves into the red blood cell. So what happens, red blood cell bulges and the concentration reduces because you are diluting with water. Uh, think in a general way. What happens when you, when you put a hot coffee cup on, on, on the outside? What happens after some time, even though it is hot at the beginning, after some time, the, the coffee temperature comes down to room temperature. What is happening? The coffee is losing its heat and getting equal with the surrounding temperature. This is what is getting equilibrium. So this is a general law. So similarly, a higher uh, concentration containing red blood cell from the lower concentration uh, hypotonic solution, the water moves into red blood cell to reduce its concentration so that it becomes equal to the outer concentration. So in that process, what happens? Red blood cell is getting more fluid. So red blood cell size increases. If the, if the water is still coming, red blood cell size increases and finally it results in hemolysis, a dangerous thing. So hypotonic solution should not be given. It causes hemolysis. Take the other thing. What happens when you inject a hypertonic solution? Now red blood cell is there, hypertonic solution means this solution has got higher concentration. What we have seen, the concentration equilibrium is required. So outside concentration is more, so the cell loses its water to dilute the outside concentration. So cell will be getting folded or it, it is causes crenation. So shell shrinks, this is called as crenation. Think about this, what happens when you get into sea water? We all like to play in sea water. When you get into the sea water, the sea has got high salt concentration. So body loses fluid to the sea. That's why you get foldings in your skin. That is called as crenation. But after some time, what happens when you come back out, out of the sea, the foldings will go off. That means crenation in red blood cell, what you see because of hypertonic solution is reversible. After some time, it becomes normalized. So this is what happens with hypertonic and hypotonic solution. Do not get confusion. Hypotonic solution, what is happening? The water is passing into the cell, cell size increases, swells, hemolysis may occur. This is irreversible. Hypertonic solution, what happens? Cell is losing water, red blood cell is losing water to the outside solution. It gets shrink, crenation is there. This is reversible. So this is what is the significance of isotonicity maintenance. Now. See, if you have any solution, if you are supposed to give it as an eye drops or intravenous solution, make sure it, it is isotonic with the body fluids. This can be achieved with the help of a, of a concept called as freezing point depression. Please go through this video. If you are clear with this video, I will explain freezing point depression in the next video. See you next.